Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim episode. New episodes every five days at 10 a.m. Nicaraguan time. Today, you're gonna be learning how to fight Goblin. And to make this easier to understand, we're gonna keep everything quite simple. Food is really, really important in Valheim. Believe it or not, it's actually more important than armor. This is probably kind of a realistic point that you're at. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're off. We have everything we need. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can encounter goblins. And in this video, I'm gonna do my best to prepare you for how you might encounter and play against them in your own Valheim playthrough. The first thing to remember is that there's starred enemies, okay? And with the goblins, you really have to pay attention to them. It's not like the gray dwarfs, where you can kind of just ignore the starred gray dwarfs. With the starred goblins, you need to take them really seriously, because they will be able to one-hit you. When you go into the plains, you always have to have protection against the death skeeto. And that's actually what this knife I have here is. People usually use a bow, but knives are really easy to make. They're really fast. Normally, when you run into the plains, this is what's gonna greet you. One of these gnarly orange bugs. They kind of fly off in the distance, but once they see you, they'll head towards you. So if we do some loud jumping, there we go, he's running towards us, and then, boom. I just attack him with the knife before he lands a hit on me. Now, if you have the upgraded troll armor, or it's level three, then you'll survive a hit from the mosquito. And then as long as you use the knife, you'll be able to kill him afterwards. But as you can see, while I was trying to take care of that death mosquito, some goblins came up to me that I didn't see. And this is a great lesson because in the plains, whenever you're fighting one thing, you may think you're safe, but you'll often die because while fighting one thing, you run into another thing. Each of the regular fuelings can have different weapons. As you can see, the one chasing me has a sword, and this guy has a spear. So the regular goblins are separated into two categories. There's melee, like this guy with the sword, and ranged, the ones with the spear. Now that we're in a kind of safe place, let's actually fight these guys. Remember, whenever you're fighting anything, make sure that you stay in an open area. If you try and fight in a cluttered area or in an area with a lot of elevation, then you're gonna get killed. But as long as you're in the open like this, see, I can talk to you guys and also dodge all of this stuff. It doesn't really require that much attention. You just have to be able to see everything, right? Wait for the ranged guy to do his attack and then go in and try and, there you go. See how with the Abyssal Dagger, you can just kill the goblins really, really easily. And you wanna prioritize the ranged guys. So kill the ranged ones first, and then start taking out the melee. It's actually quite easy to fight a goblin individually. They're much more dangerous in packs. As you can see, it's quite easy. You just wait for him to attack, dodge his attack, and then try and stun him. All right, so we've met two goblins, but normally you'd fight a lot more of them, right? So let's see what happens when we're actually against a group of goblins that's too big for us to handle, because that's much more realistic than just thinking that you'll just fight one or two at a time. So I'm gonna aggro these, and then I'm gonna run back to sort of this flat area over here. I'm gonna try and stay away from those locks. Now this is much more challenging and also much more realistic. You can see that there's a wide variety of different weapon types and one of them is a star goblin, so that's a big problem. The first thing you need to do is look out for the ranged enemies. And we can see that of these goblins, there's actually three of them. And before you fight anything, you need to size the enemy up and know what you're dealing with. So. We got quite lucky, and there's only three ranged enemies here. The more ranged goblins, the harder it is. And the worst is if you have a two-star ranged goblin. Those kind of goblin groups are just ridiculously challenging. How would I actually go about fighting this group? Because as you can see, I can stay alive, but it's not like I'm doing anything to them. And if I sit still and try and kill one of them, 
Well, I'm sure I'm going to get a spear to the face. And that, my dear friends, is where these ooze bombs come in. Ready? Boom, one. And two. And three. Four. Five. And look at that, goblins are already dying. Do you see how insanely strong <laughs> these bombs are? And then it makes the goblins weak, so you can just run around with your knife, right? Because they start running away and they get hurt. And look at that, I'm standing still. That huge group of goblins isn't chasing me anymore. And all I used was just five of those ooze bombs. They are incredibly strong. And they do loads of damage, because now you see the goblin are still here, but they barely have any health. So it's really easy to just pick them off quickly with the knife. And look at that. We killed a bunch of goblins in really basic preliminary gear. Now we can just run into the base, and there's so few enemies here, right? We have this one one-star fueling. We have some regular enemies. So let's try and thin out the weakest first. You always want to reduce their numbers as quickly as possible. So instead of killing the strongest enemies first, go for the enemies that you can actually take down quickly. And the goblin, as long as you get them stunned, they're quite easy to deal with, to be honest. And that third hit will stun them if you landed the other ones. And I'm doing this demo showing you with really, really low uh, knife skill. I think my knife skill is only like 16 or something. So this will work regardless of your knife skill. You don't need like some crazy strong skill or anything like that. So all you need is some patience and to make sure you're watching the enemies because... If you lose track of them, then they're going to kill you. Alright everybody, I hope you enjoyed that simple video. Fighting goblins is honestly one of the most fun things in this entire game. So if you ever get bored in Valheim, just go fight some goblins. You are fully able to come in here with just a dagger and some troll leather. And as long as you got some decent food and some patience, you'll be fine. And in fact, you might even have more fun than if you come in here fully geared. All right, everybody, that's it for this video. If you want to support my work, then please check out my tutorial all about setting up your own dedicated Valheim server. And if you want new content from me, then subscribe to my channel because there's new Valheim videos every five days at 10 a.m. Nicaraguan time. And if there's anything you want to make a video about, or you want me to make a video about, then just comment below and let me know. I love making Valheim videos. It's really fun and I have a blast. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!